Okay, Throne. This is my one-year review of my Throne composting toilet. Um, this is the one I made out of scraps. It's extra tall for me because I'm quite tall. Um, it's really held up quite well. I'm so happy with it. Um, use it every day for the past year. Um, this has the Throne Diverter. Um, just a standard soft close lid. Um, I did do one thing, though. Um, I added this screen. I did just clean this, so don't freak out. Um, I think you can get these at our RV places. So this, I believe, goes in uh, a sink to catch like your rings or whatever before it goes down the sink. And for mine, it catches the sawdust. For you, that might not be a big deal, but... I'm trying to do this without getting my fingers in the camera lens here. Excuse me. I have this tube that goes down to my gray tank, so it's really important for me to catch all that sawdust because I was having problems with it building up. And probably every, I don't know, year or two, I'm going to have to replace this line because it's getting discolored. And there's a, I don't know, it's building up. There's a buildup on it. I don't know. Um, but that, I just... Uh, I just um, primed it up. I just cleaned it. And, um, you know, I, I go once a week and um, uh, it really does not smell um, because I separate and I use. So one of the tricks was my that screen diverter. Yeah, let me just grab that before I forget. The screen catch, I should say. That was a, a big deal um, because when sawdust goes down that tube, it. it slows everything down and then using a lot of sawdust so i use these shavings pet bedding shavings from walmart and you can get them anywhere tractor supply whatever um i use a lot that was the other thing that i learned was use a lot in the solids and you should be fine and then i also use a little air freshener um you know every morning and then close the lid and um um, after about a week, you know, it's time. Um, the only other thing that I would do is, so when I made mine, I made, I made the mistake of putting the toilet seat too close. So I would move the seat back as far as possible. That was the only mistake that I think I made. Um, everything lines up a little bit better if the seat is further back and the diverter is as far forward as possible. But, I mean, that's about the only thing I learned in making mine. And so there you go. Have an amazing day.